this lovely little glass square here. I don't think I'm gonna give any chance to name it yet. It's uh, got a quiet nature. this moron here to go try and catch the legendary Pokemon at the lake even though neither of us have Pokemon neither of us have Pokeballs this fucking genius get yeah, ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon trust me on this it's hard to even, even if it says so on the sign what's going on I feel like this guy... When I think of this guy's voice, I feel like he's just, like, a very, uh, like, emo kind of man. <sighs> the flowing time. The expanding space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, Giovanni, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Did you hear that, Giovanni? That was legendary Pokemon crying. It had to be. Okay, this is our chance. Let's go catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us! You know, Pokeballs! P-O-K-X and E balls! If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us! Do you think Professor Roan give us some if we asked? You remember what he said, don't you? You can visit him at the lab if we need anything. Okay, Giovanni, I'll race you. First one to the Professor's lab in Zenjin Town rules. I want to see what can be found here for my first severity leap. Cause we got two encounters right off the bat, right out of town. I'm too curious. Let's see. Let's, let's see what, what kind of wild Pokemon we got going on here. Oh, all right. That that wouldn't even be too bad though. That would not even be too bad, though. I feel like we're going to find a lot of wild mons on our way to San Gem Town, so we'll see what kind of things we can run into on this route. his ride on. That would be funny. Damn it, just as I was about to turn. A Toxic I guess I wouldn't be too mad at that. I like Toxic Rogue. these things. Should be grinding. <clears throat> oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. <clears throat> what the? Oh, it's you, Giovanni. That old guy. It's not so scary. It's so much as it's totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Giovanni. I'm out of here. See you later. Your friend surely really seems to be impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside.
Well, well, look who's here. Giovanni, was it? let's have a look at your Pokémon. Well, well, you've made your Pokémon evolve already. Hmm, I'm trusting you with that Gliscor. It was no mistake, it seems. Oh, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I would. What am I going to name this thing? Any Scorpion is too obvious. Pokemon just like the most generic names possible. So for this one, we're gonna go with Robert. Mm, I see, and you're happy with that nickname? Yes. When I first saw you two about to step in the tall grass with that Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children, but now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there's a bond growing between you and that Pokémon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Gliscor feels the same way about you. That's why uh, I'll ask you to cherish that Gliscor of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind to one Pokémon. If you weren't, I'd have to. No, I just can't say it. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Alright, allow me to properly introduce myself. First. My name is, as you know, Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to, c to collect the data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record all the data in the Pokemon Sinnoh for me? Sure. Mm, good answer. He doesn't let you say no, so... That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Giovanni, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one, too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, how did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Sorry about that. That means that there are many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Giovanni, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar or Route 201, we would have the same Pokemon now. That's actually completely false. Even in the uh, proper game, if you choose whatever you choose, she will choose- whatever you and your rival choose, she'll choose what's left, so you'll never have the same Pokemon as Dawn. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm Dawn. I also help the Professor add pages to the Pokedex, so in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Giovanni. Cool. We have Pokeballs now. Giovanni, I have something good here. You should take this as well. Ooh, TM27. I wonder what that would be randomized to. That is a technical machine. That one contains the move Return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to your Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. The move Return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh, wow. I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? 
Okay, Giovanni, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Giovanni, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Giovanni. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rome with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. I don't actually have Pokeballs yet. So the walk has still not started. So I'm gonna do a little grinding in Route 201 first. I'd be fine with a Weavile, personally. Weavile's pretty nice. Okay, I was, for a second I couldn't remember why this thing exists in literally every attacking move I had. Gain that XP, Robert. I just hit, hit a button by accident there. If I run into a Finneon, I'll be mad. Finneon is bad. Get this off my screen. I'll be insulted if I don't one-shot this thing. Get out of here. No. If you're my first encounter on this route, I'm willing to be mad. I'd be fine with that. I'd be happy with the Nine Tails. I've only found one Pokemon on this route so far that I wouldn't be okay, that I wouldn't be okay with. And that's that goddamn Finneon. I don't have a stab move yet, which kind of sucks, but. Nice and level 7. Yeah. What was I looking for? Damn it. I don't remember what I was going to go in my bag for, but whatever. Welcome home, Giovanni. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. What is it, Giovanni? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Oh dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Giovanni. I've got something that you'll find useful. That's a journal. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey filled with adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, I'll be right by my I'll be alright by myself, so you can go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Uh, what should I do with Jason's mom? Uh. Um, hello, excuse me, is my little Jason here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? 
That boy shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. At least I uh, wanted to take this to delivery to him. Not to worry, Giovanni will deliver that to him. Won't you, Giovanni? Oh, really? You do that for me? Please take this to Jason for me. Obtain the parcel. Bye bye, Giovanni. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'd probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to Jason. Okay. Now, I don't have po Pokeballs yet. Randomized to water gun. Toki kiss. I, eh. I wouldn't love it, but I wouldn't hate it either. Come on, I just want to go get Pokeballs. We've come full circle back to Rhyme. I wouldn't be completely mad about that. It'd be hilarious getting uh, my a copy of my rival starter. Oh, come on. Another rival. Roberto. Let's get out of here, Robert. John gives you Pokeballs up here, I don't need to buy them yet. <laughs> oh, that's right, Giovanni. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? What kind of crazy shit are you gonna run into? A fucking Gibble, really? I would love a Gibble. Garchomp is powerful as hell. to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Giovanni, to get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. The lock has officially started. What oh, fucking Christ. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you'll be safer on longer trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going by now. Okay. Let's go buy more Pokeballs so there's encounters that I won't have to, uh... I'm gonna afford 14. Five potions, so I'll just buy a life. Oh, grab it to just for the measure. Now, hopefully, Pokemon won't be too hard to catch. 
Okay, so we've got two encounters over this way to grab, and then an encounter on the next street to grab. Survey says... Sneasel. I'm fine with that. Oh god, kill it this higher. Please don't kill it. Fuck. Well, first encounter of the lock. Fucking completely annihilated. Okay, let's try Verity Lakefront then and hopefully not absolutely destroy the, th the poor thing. Survey says Wall Rain. Very bad. Okay. Uh, I don't want to absolutely destroy this thing. I feel like anything I have is gonna do it, so. Let's throw a Pokemon and see what happens. It's level 2, but it's also. Oh, in stage two. Let's go. First ball. Not even stressing. It shatters ice with its big tusks. Its thick blubber repels not only the cold, but also enemy attacks. And its primary ice. <laughs> uh, only a few of you will get that. Who am I kidding? Probably none of you. But anyway, uh, let's go with... Wait a minute, let's... can't do that. Let's go with, uh... Jim. Robert and Jim. Sacred Ash, god damn. That's powerful. Snow Growl, Water Gun, and Encore. I did not feel like dealing with that. Haha. <laughs> Though I do want to train Jim a little bit before I go into my next encounter. So it can hold its own, but not absolutely annihilate. For alligator, that's power. Let's go, Robert. Uh -oh. Eek! I did too much. Okay. I didn't do too much. There's no crits, okay. Get up out of here for alligator. As long as wasting its turn using safeguard, it'll be fine. 100% fine. Is all you have safeguard? Because I'd be fine with that in this case. Oh my god, that's confused, Ray. 
Jim, you are smarter than this. You're smarter than that, Jim. Damn it, Jim, you're smarter than that. What is this gonna do? No, nothing at all. Jim, you're smart, you have a degree. Jim, you have a degree in accounting. You're smart, there you go. Snap out of that confusion. I know a work environment can be confusing, but that doesn't mean you can just mess up like that. Almost three full levels off of that. That's how you get experience. Okay. Okay, next encounter. Can I get an encounter down here yet, or is that only a... That only when I get a fishing rod. That's only when I get surfer a fishing rod. Heart now. Neat. I call it wall radius. Matt, you're not that special. You are absolutely not that special, Vinyon. There you go. The lion running down its side can store sunlight. It shines vividly at night. Yes, I think we'll have a little, uh... Let's go with Bill. Getting stored because because that Pokemon is stupid. a good enough times that I wrap up today's episode. We got a good bit done. Had some annoying notifications to deal with, but until then, I will talk to you all in the next video.